Hi there again. Now I want to talk about, because I like painting, I want to talk about the three cleans of painting. The first one is the painting must be clean because it's respectable. It's respectable. In other words, there mustn't be, if this is a board, and it is a board and it's acrylic, there mustn't be finger marks here on the side or any dirty places on the surface, which includes br uh, bristles from brushes. Especially with a small, delicate painting like this, it's very important you don't have a bristle here. The second clean is make sure that if you're going to make a dark here, like here by the nose here, in this area here, or under the hat, uh, if I'm using red and white for flesh, uh, just because there's a bit of brown on my palette and it's just too uh, difficult or inconvenient to use uh, a bit of uh, uh, red to make it darker, the pink, I just use a bit of brown. That's not good enough. That's that's one of the other cleans. And the other one is make sure that the furu is clean. Because uh, sometimes uh, you clean the brush and the furu uh, is not clean right up into the, the top areas of the, the brush and it dries and then you use white and then you swish it around a bit to mix it a bit, the, the white paint, and then you can see the color oozes out at the top of the for rule, a dirty colour. And then when you put it on the, the the painting, you can see it's dirty. That's the second, the second uh, clean. The third clean is, for example, if you're using watercolour and you need more water, don't spit into the watercolour. You see, now painting is a, is a very uh, lonely and, and personal thing. And sometimes you might be painting two, three o'clock in the morning where there's a lot of doubt and what, you, and what some people have done in the past is they stick pins in the back of their canvases between the frame, the support and the canvas pins or even a bit of feces. They might smear a bit of feces somewhere on their painting. And I'm talking about people like Raphael, uh, 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 the very good Picasso like that. Now, I've seen Picasso now, and I'm not trashing anybody, but I've seen Picasso on live TV painting without a shirt. Uh, I don't go with that. And you can see what he paints too. He just paints basically anything. And I know he's a qualified artist, and I, but I see he paints anything, he will do anything. And if he's painting two, three o'clock in the morning, and he's got rivals, and he's got doubt, it's, it's not impossible that he spits on the back of his painting and wipes it off with the thinners, or leaves a pin somewhere, consciously, on his painting. I'm not saying he did, but I'm saying since painting began, some of the very, very well-known, famous artists have been doing dirty things like that. Now, that's all I want to say. And, I, and I, uh, I'm just telling you this because I don't want to do that. I'm, sometimes I'm quite tempted to mix a bit of black in there to, to make it dark. Uh, sometimes I'm quite tempted to... Uh, th there's a fingerprint mark over here, but it goes in the frame. No one will see it. And I'm quite tempted to uh, uh, blow on my um, with my mouth on the acrylic pour uh, 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 in instead of using a hairdryer or a compressor or a straw or something like that. You see, and it gets spit in the painting, and people don't mind. I mind. I'm telling you, it's respectable to keep it clean. If there's the three cleans. The first one is. Keep the painting clean. Don't leave it on the floor. Don't get coffee stains on it or paint, paint stains on it. 
and uh, where you have to clean it off and so on, keep it off the floor. The second one is uh, make sure your brushes are clean uh, and don't get lazy. Uh, use the right color to make it dark uh, and not just what's available on the palette. And the third one is don't be dirty with your paintings. You understand? Don't get dirty with your paintings to make to get an advantage. That's all I want to say. This is quite nice. It, 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 what I like to do is I like to draw the picture first and then fill it in with colour. Now, I've been painting for quite a while, but I've also been doing music. So I do music for a while and then painting. Music for a while and painting. Now, look here. You see that, that place there? That, that's because I'm lazy. I saw it, and that hand there, I didn't paint that hand because I wanted to photograph it, because I was so proud of it. But besides that, it's very nice. It's very different and very, uh, let us say, nah, it looks a bit like a rabbi, but nevertheless, that's how it goes. And this, this could have been water. You see? Okay, that's that's what I want to say. If you like what I do and you like my comments and you'd like me to say more, I, I'm not a qualified artist, I'm a logical artist. I, I, I do things, I learn on YouTube and I try and replicate what I see or I try and put my own ideas down. That's all. And I don't take drugs and I don't drink. And I'm 65 years old and I need money and I, this is quite nice. If this was properly framed, I'm sure someone would buy it. Leave a comment and subscribe. Bye now.